Hi there, it's left hook, right cross, your look to the political plays in the race for the White House. I'm Ramey in New York. Topping presidential news this week, two polls were out in New Hampshire. Senior political correspondent Von Ververs tells us who's up and down later, but first, red defense. These other issues are uh, very sad, they're very serious, and they have to be dealt with within the uh, federal justice system, which I have enormous respect for. Rudy says, look at his record, not at Bernard Carrick. His close friendship with the guy charged with corruption while New York Police Commission has made him an easier target for his opponents. And I want to make sure that it's there not just for this generation, but for next generations. Barack on Social Security. He said he's cool with raising taxes to keep it solvent. Also on money, McCain's taken out a loan to the tune of three million bucks. He's second among Republicans in national polls, but his campaign's cash flow has been pretty weak. Meanwhile, Ron Paul's giving back money that's tainted, but he didn't do anything wrong. Turns out overseas thieves were making $5 contributions to his campaign to test out credit cards that they had stolen. And now Von Ververs with more on those New Hampshire polls. Those New Hampshire polls show that Clinton's lead has slipped almost 10 points since September. The good news for her is that neither Barack Obama or John Edwards appears to be capitalizing. That could change. Obama is riding high after his well-received speech at an important Iowa dinner over the weekend. In the last full week of campaigning before Thanksgiving, look for Clinton to try and regain some momentum. That won't be easy after her campaign admitted to planting at least one question for her to answer at a campaign stop in Iowa. Clinton's camp says it's an isolated incident, but we're sure to hear more about it before the week is out. And Mitt Romney says his advisors don't want him to deliver a speech about his faith, a la John Kennedy in 1960, at least not yet. But it's likely he would address questions about his Mormon religion should he win the GOP nomination. Von Verver, senior political correspondent for CBSNews.com in Washington. That's all the time we've got now. Thanks for watching and watch out for those hooks.